Dear students, I am Falguni Pati. I am an associate professor in the Department of Biomedical Engineering at IIT Hyderabad. I am teaching this new and exciting course called Organ Printing. So let's see the weekly schedule of this course. So in week one, I will be discussing introduction to bioprinting and then the different types of bioprinting techniques or modalities with their advantages and disadvantages. So in this first week, we will discuss what is bioprinting, what are the different types of bioprinters available, what is the mechanism and operations of these different types of bioprinters. Also then we will discuss the, uh, different, the advantage and disadvantage of these bioprinters. At week 2, we will discuss different 3D tissue designing and also 3D tissue organ printing with their various process parameters and also their role in bioprinting. How actually we can uh, optimize different process parameters to print the target tissue structures that we design in a better manner. Then in week 3, we will discuss uh, what are the different types of biowings available, what is biowing and what are the different types of biomaterials that are used for development of this biowing with the merits and demerits of these different types of biowings for a particular target tissue applications. Then in week 3, we will discuss the critical parameters of bioing formulation for bioprinting. Uh, actually, we will discuss there how we can actually select the different parameters or optimize different parameters for this bioing formulation to suit a particular type of bioprinting applications. And also we can also say that we can we will also uh, discuss uh, how we can modulate different bioing properties so that we can control the different processing conditions to come up with a better printing operations. In week 5 we will discuss different 3D bioprinted in vitro, in vivo and ex vivo research models and techniques and also in vitro manipulation of the cells and biomaterials with a bioprinter to engineer tissues for regenerating medicines uh, are also in vitro tissue organ models. Then at week 6 we will discuss uh, there is a, a uh, process called in situ bioprinting that is when, ex when actually we do the bioprinting directly on the patients or any uh, the or a person's skin or per on a person's tissue directly we do the bioprinting that process is called in situ bioprinting. Also, there is a new technology called 4D bioprinting that has been that has evolved over time. So we'll discuss both these techniques along with some examples from the literature. And then at week six, we'll discuss different biofabrication bed strategies for clinical applications, specific clinical applications. So that, that means when we use them from bench to bed. And then at last at week eight, we'll dis, uh, discuss what is the next step in bioprinting. So that means what are the challenges associated with this print process and also how what are the future direction of this technique or how are the things possible with this technique that we will discuss also we will discuss different ethical issues or regulatory challenges for bioprinting thank you